solve the quadratic equation by the square root property. So we have 7x plus 6, parentheses, squared, and that's equal to 81. So the square root property says that whenever we have a variable squared, like x squared, equal to a number, whenever we take the square root of both sides, we always have to put a plus or minus. So that's what the square root property says. So in this case, we'll start by taking the square root on both sides. And notice there is a variable here, so you can think of this whole thing here as like your x, okay? So when you take the square root, the 2 goes away, so you get 7x plus 6 equals plus or minus the square root of 81. Well, the square root of 81 is 9. So now we subtract 6, so minus 6, minus 6, so we get 7x equals minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 9. Now you can put the minus 6 in the back too, it doesn't really matter. I put it in the front because it looks better. And then you divide by 7. So we get x equals negative 6 plus or minus 9 over 7. Unfortunately, we're not done. We have to take cases and break it up. So by take cases, I mean we have to do the plus and the minus. So doing the plus first, it's negative 6 plus 9 over 7. So it's going to be 3 over 7. So that's one of our answers. And doing the minus, it's negative 6 minus 9 over 7. So negative 6 minus 9 is negative 15. Oh, well, that was hard. <laughs> over 7. And that is the final answer. I hope that made sense.